Right, I'm having a go at making a sort of an onion barge, <laughs> a lower fat version. In here I've got um, two teaspoons of oil, olive oil from my allowance. But this is a recipe I make for two people, so really it's just one teaspoon from my um, allowance. So I'm just going to add a splash of water, I'll let that just cook off a little bit, because the oil will help bring out the best flavours as the heat goes through the turmeric. Now these won't take long, I just want them to soften a little bit. Can you hear it sizzling? A couple more minutes. I always find that when you fry off your um, herbs and spices, they seem to release the flavour so much better in the final cooking uh, item, the product that we're going to eat. A splash of water. I'm going to leave that simmer while I carry on with the next stage. Okay, so let's just move over to the chopping board. Okay, I've got a tin of uh, chickpeas which I've washed thoroughly and drained. Ooh. And this is instead of using gram flour. Uh, which isn't free on no count. Uh, no idea why, maybe it's density and the volume of it. So I'm just going with my knife and just... I don't want to blitz them in a the food process, so I want to keep some of the chunks in. So I'm just going to take my knife over it and try and cut them down a little bit small. Ooh, it's not easy. Being browned, obviously they roll. <laughs> Okay, bit of luck, they won't be too bad, it's getting easier as we go through them. Ooh. They're active little things aren't they? I don't want to be cooked running away from me. I am wondering if I should have used the food processor. This could take a long time. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Thanks to Darren. Okay. Let me just inside. Crush them a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing, you know. This is, I found a recipe I liked. I thought, oh, I'll adapt that and um, see how it turns out. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let's give them another chop over. I reckon those onions should be done now as well. Half a can here, so about 200 grams. Should be plenty. Okay, so I'm quite happy with the texture of these now. So that little job's done. So what's next? The onions are cooked. I'm just going to pop those into my bowl. Let's just get a tea towel out of the drawer. My daughter in law made these, isn't she clever? It's so pretty. Clever girl. So just going to pop that into the bowl. I love this skillet pans, but crikey, oh Riley, they're heavy. Okay, bit of a mess going on there. You see how the onion's taking on the texture, the colour. You can't smell it, but I can. It smells great of the um, turmeric. So it's next. It's there's no yogurt in this recipe. It said to use um, a tablespoon of tomato puree, which I'm doing. Oh, 
spare, right? With an egg. Get that whisk around. Okay, so what's next? I'm going to add the um, flavorings, which is paprika, ginger, ground coriander, a uh, teaspoon, uh, teaspoon of garam masala, and some dried cumin, and just a tiny pinch more of turmeric. That's all going in with the egg. And then this mixture is going in. The chopped up, beautiful little chickpeas. That's such a versatile ingredient. They're a great uh, replacement for um, meat or fish in all kinds of dishes. And they also make good cakes. A bit of a strange flavour, but it's really nice. And the onions are going in. Smells so lovely. Looks a bit wet, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, a bit of stir. Okay. No, that looks all right actually. I think that will cook lovely because if I have it too dry, I'm not going to fry it. I'm going to bake it. It will dry out too much, I think. So next day, just get my pan. Well, a tray, and I've got it covered in the other side of the kitchen paste so I don't waste it. I've got the oven heating up at um, 180, and I'll cook for roughly, oops, one second, I'm fried out of it. That cook for roughly 20 to 30 minutes. Just pat it down a little bit. This is an experiment. I've got no idea as usual. All you fantastic cooks out there of spicy cooking, you're probably raising an eyebrow now. What? No garam flour, no yogurt. <laughs> this is no count, and the only points I'm counting in here is the um, tomato puree. A teaspoons, one point I believe. So, with a bit of luck, sharing these with two people, you wouldn't have to count any. So I wouldn't eat any more than two or three. Just flatten it down a little bit. I think it would be nice if I had some fresh coriander in it. I've only got a little bit of coriander left, I want to save that for my fish uh, sauce I'm making later. That's gonna go with this. Wow, there you go, what do you think? This looks a bit odd, maybe, who knows? But we shall see how it tastes. Wow, they look good, don't they? Not exactly an embargy shape, <laughs> I'll give you that. But let's taste it. They look good in texture. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> they taste very good. If anything, I would add maybe a bit more salt next time. But I'm going to make a nice uh, yogurt dip to go with that on the side of my salad with my fish curry. So, lucky me. I'd give that an 8 out of 10. <laughs>